Hello, I'm JW. Today we've got an item that's been sent in, and it's a fairly despicable item that uh, isn't intended for use in the UK, although it does actually fit into the uh, socket outlets here. And it's this thing here, which as you see has two holes on that side, and on this side it has a pin which goes into the earth hole of a socket outlet, and a couple of small tabs there. And the uh, purpose of this thing is to shove into a UK outlet and then you can ram in some inappropriately designed plug with two prongs into the outlet and this basically opens the shutters. Now of course such a thing uh, shouldn't really be used in the UK because it's defeating the safety devices built into the socket. Nevertheless we're going to have a look at it anyway and also see where it's actually sold and uh, why it's actually existing in the first place. Now what we have here is a standard UK socket outlet and this is a double. It also has to be broken which is the subject of another video. But the uh, point about this is that you can see inside the line of neutral holes here and there's actually a shutter inside, so you can just see it's a block of white plastic. So if you were to take some implement and try and uh, shove that in there, then you'll see it doesn't actually get anywhere. You can't make contact with any live parts. And every UK socket outlet that's been installed since the 1940s has this as a built-in feature, as this is actually required by the standard. So all that myth about uh, having those stupid covers you can put in there to prevent children poking their fingers in, not a myth because first of all children's fingers are too big to fit in these holes anyway, and even if they got some kind of implement like this, you can't physically get in there with anything anyway, and it's obviously uh, been like that since day one. However, the uh, thing in question of this video is this despicable piece, and this is branded KES, it says warning please remove when not in use. A better warning would be please do not use, just throw in the bin immediately. And this is designed to defeat the shutters in a UK type socket outlet. So we've got an earth pin here which incidentally is too short and probably the wrong dimension. A couple of little pegs there to go in the other two. So we take our normal socket here, you can see the shutters are there. As we place this in it will actually open those shutters and when it's fully in there then it just leaves the two open holes and you can see the brass in the side there which of course are the line of neutral contacts and then the idea of that is that you could then shove in some kind of two pin plug of the sort of European type or something similar and then you can cram that in there and power whatever the thing is that you happen to have and of course without this you couldn't actually just shove the plug in you would have to get some kind of screwdriver and dangerously sort of shoehorn it in there and pry the uh, things open and all the rest which uh, obviously isn't particularly desirable this might be uh, marginally better than doing that now the reason these exist and where they're sold is the UAE and that's places like uh, Dubai for example and uh, inexplicably it seems that the purpose of having these is that in Dubai and other areas the common type of socket outlet is this style and yet when you buy appliances there most of the time they're actually supplied with a two pin plug. Now it's not entirely clear why such a mess of a situation like that would have arisen but nevertheless that apparently is the deal there so they sell these so that they can uh, buy their appliances with two pin plugs, buy a pack of these as well, shove these in the outlets and then just plug in the thing uh, in the front. Now you would have thought that uh, it would be far more sensible simply to replace the socket outlet with a two pin variety, which of course is what uh, most countries have done, but nevertheless that is apparently uh, the purpose for these. Now these things really shouldn't have any use there either, but uh, they apparently do. Certainly in the case of the UK, if you come across any of these then they need to be destroyed immediately because this is just purely there to defeat the safety purposes. So uh, perfectly safe outlet here, can't poke anything in. Place this in and leave it in. You've now got live parts inside there. And then of course you could shove some uh, screwdriver implement in there. And that's now a live part. And just for the avoidance of doubt, uh, this isn't wired in so of course no danger there. Here's the uh, packaging header from these ones, and I uh, said these are commonly sold in bags of like six or something. It's called a Model 316, and there's six of them. It's called a key plug. It's not really a plug at all, but uh, certainly a key for opening the shutters. Made in China, but then no surprise there, but certainly not necessarily sold there. Osh Traco is the brand. You can actually make the word trash out of that quite easily. According to this, you're not allowed to put it in the trash. And it's got the CE mark, which means cromulent electrical, and that doesn't mean a great deal else. Quite right, it's got the CE mark, something sold in Dubai isn't clear, because of course Dubai is not in the uh, European Union. So there we have it. 
a uh, shonky device that's specifically designed to fix a situation which shouldn't even have existed in the first place. And so if you're finding these in the UK, then uh, please get rid of them immediately because it's completely unsafe. It's turning a safe socket outlet into something that certainly isn't. And if you're finding any of these without the holes in, which are just basically the so-called socket safety covers, you can throw them in the bin as well because they are also useless and in some cases can actually make it worse because on a lot of these cheap plastic ones, if you place it in the socket upside down, it still opens the holes anyway. And then if you press hard enough, it can actually break off in there, leaving it stuck in there and live parts exposed. So the weather note that these so-called safety covers without the holes in have been banned throughout the entire of the NHS and they've also been banned by a large number of uh, nurseries and other places where they used to use them. So if you do see any of them, do get rid of them. And if you see any of these, then uh, most definitely get rid of them because clearly unsafe and not fit for purpose. So that's it for this video. Until next time, thanks for watching.